110 years after Alexander's death, the Seleucid Empire was marching. Its armies now were strong and experienced. The reforms of Andragoras had now been in place for 10 whole years and few nations could match the modern troops of Seleucia. It was in these two years that are now known as the Years of Five Kings where we would see unprecedented success under our first king, Antiochus Thymomenos, Antiochus III, the Angry. He had been king for a decade, but unlike great Antiochus the Builder, his father, he was widely unpopular. His father's great social and economic reforms were rolled back and replaced by fear and executions. However, although Antiochus III was not a popular man, he was still a competent general and strategist. And it was in these two years where he would find his greatest success. The second king of these years was Oxybazos, the king of Bactria. After all the previous kings had met death in battle against the Seleucids, the Bactrian lords had appointed Oxybazos, a man from a minor branch, to the kingship. In his short time as king, he had retreated to the sitting capital Maruka, aiming to regather their reeling forces. But Eumenes, the newly appointed Seleucid satrap of Bactria, marched with conviction, set on revenge for the death of his good friend Adimanthos the years prior. It was here, at Maruka, that Eumenes took his revenge. The siege was short and bloody, and Oxybazos met the besieging forces just inside the walls. It was here that he was surrounded by Eumenes, his mercenary cataphracts and the Seleucid infantry. His slaying was the point that marked the beginning of the end for the kingdom of Bactria. Eumenes himself ordered the slaying of the Bactrian nobility after the siege to make sure they'd never rise again. From this point, they were never able to regather their strength, and whilst they did fight on, this death led to their eventual fall at the hands of Eumenes. The third king in our tale, Arsamis of Pontus, was slain the very same year. He was a great commander and had been at the upper echelons of Pontic society for several decades. His plan to strike the eastern edge of the Seleucids in Cappadocia was a good one, especially after the great losses they had suffered in the two years prior, losing their capital and several of their major cities. What Arsamis did not see coming, however, was that the Seleucids and Antiochus III would entrust their most valuable military assets, the thunderous cataphracts and great war elephants, to someone so green and young. That is exactly what Antiochus III had done, diverting these fresh units from Antioch to young Aeses, a promising commander. And although his army was mainly a ragtag bunch of mercenaries, the elephants and cataphracts would prove unstoppable at the Battle of Mazaka in 212 BC. Upon their charges, the Pontic hordes fled in terror, and Arsamis was slain on the battlefield by the companions of Aeses. This battle marked the descent into darkness for the Pontic Kingdom, and it would mark the darkest episode in their history for over a hundred years. The fourth king in our tale is Diotarus of the Galatian Celts, known as the Handsome. His reign also ended in the same year as Oxybazos, and his death was no less violent. He had gathered a great host to restore his kingdom, after the Seleucids had reduced it to the single city of Bithynian. His son, Bagoris, brought the host to relieve the siege, and a bloody battle ensued. 
Here, Deotarus charged the Seleucid lines by himself, urging his son to follow, but perhaps in a bid to take the kingdom himself, Bregoris did not support him, and Diotaurus met his end in the lines of Phalangites. Antigonus, the inexperienced commander of the Seleucid army, may be buoyed by this great victory, marched his army from their defences atop a hill down to meet the army of Bregoris. It was here, when the Galatians heard the news of the death of their king, that they set upon the Seleucids in a great fury. The battle was bloody, and both Antigonus and Bregoris were cut down, engaged in cavalry combat. Only the quick thinking of the new commander of the Seleucids, Ermias, would save the Seleucid army from utter, brutal defeat. Whilst the Celts were too busy looting the camp of supplies, he sped to Bithynian with his cavalry, and there he dealt the news of Diotaurus' death, calling for all true men in Bithynian to put down their arms and join the Empire. But to his surprise, the locals were enraged and chased his men from the city. So Ermias and his army would scrape through, but the Galatian kingdom found its end. With the death of Diotarus and his son, they would never again find unity and would fight among themselves until their inevitable fall to the Seleucids some years later. But now we come to the fifth and final king of the tale, the nephew of Antiochus III, Diodotus. Antiochus had had no legitimate children, and because of his unpopularity, few of his brothers remained on good terms. But there was one nephew that he favoured, son of Seleucus the Lude of Tyre, Antiochus's eldest brother. In the year following the demise of the three kings, a fourth king would rise. Although it is often rumoured that Seleucus had bought Diodotus' nomination for his support of Antiochus, it is still well known that Antiochus had favoured Diodotus anyway, maybe because Diodotus seemed so opposite to himself in many ways. He was calm, he was sober, and he also was respected by many, and even respected his own father, all things that Antiochus III was not. But whatever the case for his nomination, it was in this year, following the year where three kings were slain at the hands of the Seleucids, that a great Seleucid king would begin to rise. And this concludes the tale of the five kings and the era of Antiochus III, which would make way for a great period ruled by Diodotus. Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our RIS version 0.5 Seleucid campaign. And last time we tried so hard to get Diodotus to come of age, but unfortunately, that boy just didn't want to age quick enough before this battle happened. Um, but yeah, this probably was our last intro for a while, guys. So do like and subscribe for all this lovely roleplay content. But if you are a big fan of these intros, guys, please remember that there is going to be so much story content coming just before 0.6 releases and afterwards. I can't reveal exactly what it is yet, but honestly, guys, I am so, so excited to hear what you guys think when it comes. Got a whole 19 videos planned, pretty much all story content. So, <laughs> I've got to do them first, but <laughs> they'll, they'll get to you, don't you worry. But anyway, guys, let's get into this battle. We are fighting Big Cyrus over here. Great name, great name, of course. Cyrus the Great, very famous Persian uh, ruler. So let's get into the battle. Let's see how we do. 
Doesn't look like it's going to be too hard, but I'll see you on the battlefield, guys. Ellie's and Cataphract's ready to go. Here we are, guys. Here we are. <laughs> and yes, we have an army that is ready to crush anything that crosses our path. We have pretty much very little infantry. But who cares about infantry when you've got cataphracts and elephants, boys? That's what we want to say right now, anyway. <laughs> Let's get all these guys on fire at will. We've also got you guys can go behind. We've got these two boyos. Let's go. We don't really need to worry too much because, yeah. It's going to be kind of a... Uh, obviously, I've got all of this stuff uh, stuck on. Have I got... Oh, no. No firing arcs. There we are. Lots of firing arcs. Oh, not on indefinitely. Only when I press space bar, please. Okay, there we are. Oh, wait. No. Unit banners. There we are. Lock the unit banners on. More cinematic content coming your way as well as you can probably tell. <laughs> Where's that second arm? I wasn't even thinking then. Oh, bollocks. Well, um, let's retreat somewhat into the corner. Well, not into the corner. Let's get on this hill. I think that's the option. They're going to go and... and and, uh, you know, try and join up anyway. And uh, let's get you boys in here. Let's get you boys in here. I mean, if they want to charge, that's not really much of my issue, is it? They can do what they want in terms of that. Let's go down there. We're going to keep you on, uh, you know, runaway mode. Skirmish mode, should I say. <laughs> runaway mode. <laughs> Come on, the boys. Let's go. Yeah. That's Progermite. I hate Progermite. With a passion! I was going to say, their general's got three men in it. That's pretty terrible. They've got a very cavalry-based army as well. Cappadocian cavalry is decent. The big problem we're going to have here is we're not going to have anyone that can chase them down. I mean, what are they doing? If they want to come and do that, that's fine. Guys, get running. Honestly, these guys do not scare me whatsoever. Let's get there. You guys get there as well. You can protect the flank. I don't think... It's a bit rainy, isn't it? But it's sunny. Blue skies up above... Oh, no. That is a grey cloud there. <laughs> thought it was blue. Blue clouds up ahead, guys. Blue clouds up ahead. Don't worry about those blue clouds. You guys, yeah, let's, let's calm you down for a second. Uh, you guys have got there now. Get your phalangites back on. Here they come. Acontisti, slingers. Yeah, see, I think the cataphracts are great. But it would be good to mix them in with Hetairoi, I think. Just because of the speed. Like, these guys just don't have any speed. Like, zero speed. Oh, my God. Guys are already routing. This army is absolute trash. So let's go. You guys actually go and chase them down. I think we could probably break all these guys just with a charge from the <laughs> from the Javi Cav, honestly. You guys, they're not even that fast, are they? Christ alive. Let's go. What are you? Asian archers. We should get you pretty easily. What are you guys doing? Calm down, Theropora. You just ran away. It's not something we want to see, is it? Cataphract should scare all these guys to death. I literally make them just run. Where are those boys? Yeah, the main bulk of this army is in its sort of Akontisti and stuff. So if we can get rid of all of those. If their cavalry starts re wreaking havoc, we will have, you know, pretty nice amount of Ellies to have a go at them. So, have you guys fired all your Javis yet? I mean... Yeah, kind of. You guys go after them. What is this? Asian light spearmen. I don't think that's something you want to do, my friend. But you should be scared now. And you should break. Come on, break! I'm surprised I haven't broken. I'm willing to leave my cataphracts in the fight, though. There we are. That's good. <sighs> let's, do, let's do it, guys. <laughs> The charge of the elephants once again. I just hope they don't go mad. That's the main thing. We've got to just make sure they don't go mad. Let's go. Oh, come on. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. That's what we like to see, boys. Got to be worried about the javelin men a little bit, obviously. Uh, but let's bring our cavalry into the fray if we can. To get rid of them. I mean, this... What were they thinking? Honestly, what were they thinking? Like, whatever they were thinking, it was very dumb. They were not very clever, were they? You guys fire at them. Come on, Ellies. Let's go. Here come the cavalry again. Oh, this is just so OP, man. I love it. You guys go after them. Well, this should break them, surely. They've got to be scared by the cataphracts and the elephants. Uh, we have lost an elephant. That's kind of a bit rubbish, really, isn't it? And he's not dead. Ah, this is the guy who's in the city as well. It's not ideal. Uh, out of all you guys, you guys are probably the fastest. Well, let's get two of you. Uh... Yeah, fire at them. Ah, oh, come on! Fortunately, we didn't kill the general. Mainly because we charged with the elephants. Which you know, probably wasn't the greatest of ideas. We did lose a single elephant. But hopefully they get their uh, the Ellie back. But I'm not sure they will. Uh, the thing is, they won't actually lose an elephant, guys. That's the main thing. Uh, even if they do actually lose men. See, no one was healed. But don't worry. They'll still have their... I think it's 12 elephants that they get. They'll still have that because they'll just lose the men on top. So you can kind of uh, game elephants a lot with that sort of thing. But anyway, back onto the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And as we expected, we didn't take the settlement fully. This is a proper ragtag army, though, isn't it? And, oh yeah, we're going to have 260,000 gold to spend next turn. Ooh, spicy. That is something that I love to see. I know we, you know, we didn't build anything for one turn. Um, why did I accept a 45-year-old? Am I dumb? Yes, sometimes I am. You, my friend. You know, seeing as so many of you are so upset by not having watchtowers. Let's go and build some on our borders with Armenia. Uh, but yeah, let's go build some. Come on. There we are. Fantastic. And town grows. Hibis. Nice. Let's go. Lydokia, Libanos. Yeah, we'll make sure that's in there. And Governor has died. Okay, they're still happy. That's good. Oh, we've got some people coming of age, guys. Let's go from the bottom. So we've got Antipatros over here in Seleucia. So we do have... Is there anyone really old that's not got anyone else in around here? I think we need to start building like families up around other areas where we don't have many generals like Alexandria and um, sort of Syria, Assyria as well. So I think best thing to do is really to send you over here to say like Antioch. We did bring this guy across, Selefkos, because he's a really good general. But it would be good to have someone in Antioch as well. If he could have a few kids, that'd be fantastic. Like especially this guy as well, if he has some kids. Uh, so that we can, you know, start governing this area and just exponentially grow the amount of governors in this region. Because even down here, we have hardly anyone. Uh, you know, around Judea, we've got a couple. But even like Alexandria, we've got one guy and that's it. We've got one young lad over here. There's a few, but it's not many. And it's really, you know, going to be a lot better if we get some governors in there. So let's go with you, my friend. And let's get you to Antioch. Uh, keep going, if you will. <laughs> and uh, Perseus in Seleucia as well. I think we leave Perseus in there. Diodotus! Come on! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. I mean, why is he here? Oh, he is the son of Seleucus the Lude. Let's have a look at him there. I mean, he's got two influence and two management already. He is sober. That's actually really good. 5% popularity with the people is not really very useful for us, but uh, this man is seldom allows emotion and influence uh, his decisions or his pursuit of duty. So he's pretty much the opposite 
of Antiochus the Angry. Maybe that's why Antiochus the Angry loves him so much. He has influence and management. He does respect his father, even though his father is this, this guy who is rubbish. He is a Seleucid and he's Greek. So he's a bit of a blank slate, really. But we can mold him into what we want. And of course, he was going to go with this army. So we have Alketas here. But he's not the governor, is he? And Kisi's the builder is the governor. Alketas is the person that this army is part of. Let's Yeah, so Alketas is that army. The new army doesn't actually have anyone for it yet. So that's what we want. We want our new leader to lead us into Greece. So let's recruit some ships. Let's go for triremes. Let's just get three triremes. That should hopefully be enough to see him safely across to Greece. But we've got to remember... Oh, and while we're at it, let's not forget, just in case Antiochus dies. Um, let's get here. Let's make sure we make you into the faction heir. There we are. You should get some... Should have instant influence from that. But here he is, faction heir. Uh, no, I thought he would get an extra bit of influence, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. Uh, Perseus got uh, commander, whatever. Good. Wait. How have we spent so much money already? Did we have to spend money to do that? I feel like we've just spent an absolute fortune. Maybe maybe a load of buildings were queued up, but I don't remember them being, so I don't know. Bit confusing. But anyway, let's make sure we keep upgrading the Temple of Hephaestus over here so we can start getting gold weapons and armor. And actually, Alketas, you're ready to go now, aren't you? But I think... Yeah, we want to wait for both armies to go simultaneously. Uh, so what So what do we need? We've got the Reform Swordsman. We've got the Archers. We've got... Let's put all these boys together. So you just come to here for now. I know you're not the general for this army, but it's fine. What's that? Let's see, is this army ready? Because... That would be quite cool. Uh, and let's get all you boys. You boys can actually get an armor upgrade as well. Looks like the army is ready. It is ready. So that's a nice army, isn't it, boys? That is a nice, nice army. Well, invading Greece it is then, my friends. Invading Greece it is. Let's get all these boys. Oh, we can't. Well, you can get in there anyway, and Kisis. <laughs> Invading Greece it is, my friends. Uh, still only on 68%. Come on. Give me a cavalry unit or something. <laughs> how have we spent that much money, bro? Well, how is that? Not accepting. That will get you guys in there anyway. It's fine. Uh, and as I say, we're waiting for our glorious leader to come. Let's retrain those boys anyway. Uh, so, let's see what we've got over here. Yeah, we somehow survived the hell that was the Galatians. You're going back to Pergamon for retraining anyway. Uh, so, we want to get you in there. And we're just going to leave them for now. Let's go straight north to Sinope. Quite an important city on this northern coast. If you've not seen my Mausolos interview where we talked about this city quite a bit... It's a very important city. It's quite uh, well defended right now, which it should be, because as I say, it is very important. Now, can we leave with Andragoras the Handsome yet? I don't know. We are slowly but surely making our way up through here. Let's have a look. 52% still. But didn't we just build an Odeon? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. So... Did monthly... Monthly actually works. But if it goes mad, we can go to daily. So finally, we are ready to, to keep moving. And uh, let's go straight for Pimelosia. Oh my god, we have to go all the way around. Wow. We can't get through there? No. It's a long, long journey, huh? 
Uh, I'm a spy. You have to go all the way that way as well. Brother, why can't you go there? Wow. These are some tough mountains to get through. Uh, but that's fine. Maybe we should have gone down the coast. And we did talk in that Mouse Loss interview as well about how isolated this northern coast was back in the day. How it was very difficult for, you know, nations to move from the south uh, and central Anatolia up to the north. And pretty much they had to come all the way down the coast if they wanted to. All the way down to Heraclea Pontica, really, to get out uh, and back round into this region. Um, and all, all, all the way down to Bithynia. So, yeah, that I mean, it, it makes sense historically. So that's that's all I'm saying. Uh, right, let's get up to Bactria. If Come on. <laughs> Sometimes, man. Sometimes. <laughs> right. Do we have... No. <laughs> so, good. Let's get that. They've pretty much got nothing in there as well. Uh, archers. So, oh yeah, we were getting everyone into here that's going to be part of the army going into the Himalayas. Uh, which they do have an army going into the Himalayas. So, yep. Let's move... You boys into there for now, and then we can move you forward again, actually. So, get you in there. You can go there. And let's get two of these boys up this way. So, they're ready to uh, garrison it next turn. So, yeah, lots of movement, boys. Lots of movement. That army is still very scary. Especially with the horse archers. Now, what do they have in... Oh, yeah, that's that horse archer army. Now, this is still rebel. I really want horse archers right now. I think we go north and just leave Antiochia, Scythia to whatever it wants to do. And see if we can, you know... If the uh, mercenary pool gets replenished anytime soon. Okay, it's replenished up here. That's a great help. That's cost us a lot of money again. But if these boys come after us, that's what we're going to have to use. Look at the amount of cash that is flowing in this region now. We've just got roads in Oxiana as well. I don't even think it had roads. And look at the amount of trade that is already flowing. These places, 6,400. And that's with 1,600 corruption soon to go up. That's only 1,000, but it's losing 500 to corruption. Ooh. But yeah, these, these areas are so rich. And they're just going to get keep getting richer and richer and richer. The amount of gold in this region is crazy. So all the northern armies have been moved, apart from you, my friend. We'll keep you moving. Obviously, you might get attacked. Uh, but we'll keep you moving for now. Let's zoom back out. So how are we doing down here? Ready to sail. Yeah, you're the spy ship. You can get back on. And then let's come all the way down to here. I mean, we could stop off and take some of these settlements. But I'm assuming they have quite good garrisons. Yeah. I'd rather just get rid of the Ptolemies and then come back. Or, you know, start trying to take some of these settlements down here. So we've got a bit of a base of operations rather than just going all the way down the coast. Uh, where's the music gone, by the way, guys? Where's the music gone? Where is the rum gone? I mean, it's it's all on. Mute and unmute and then see what happens. Um, but yeah, no music. No music for us today. I don't know why. Let's confirm the mute and then unconfirm it. Then hopefully the music will start again. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, there we are. Okay. <laughs> Just need a bit of a boot. Boot up the backside. Right. Well, we're ready with our invasion force for Greece. We're getting ready with our invasion force for Armenia over here. It's going to be a very nice force. Oh, we do have in Seleucia, if I'm not mistaken, we've got our Neocretans here. So what we think, what I think we should do. You're going to Antioch, aren't you, my friend? So let's get the Neocretans in there, and then we'll get to Antioch a lot quicker. Only three turns instead of uh, so many, and then you'll be ready to go. We'll get Diodotus on the boats very soon as well. So let's build, and unfortunately we've, we're only like down to 
150. But we're going to go from the bottom again. So Oxiana, let's make sure, you know, we're upgrading this area, especially because of how rich it is. And of course, the execution square, nothing better. Oh, hey, we didn't even take that. Destroy that, should I say. Uh, so yeah, Oxiana, let's go for Sasamos over here on the north. Uh, and I think a port is the best option for now. Ptolemaeus Theron, let's go for the market. Maruka. Yeah, we definitely need the paved roads in all this area. Uh, but let's go for the Execution Square. Try and get rid of some of these uh, problems that we've got with uh, corruption. So let's go for Gangra. One of the chillest places that you've ever seen. If you've watched the uh, uh, the video with Mausloss. And over here at Her Heraclea Pontos. Let's go. I mean, the roads would be a good option around here because the, the movement is so bad. But let's go for the public baths for now. And Polyrenia, yeah, definitely get that. A lot of these places on Crete are very, very poor uh, right now. So we've got Daraspa all the way up here. And again, I think roads are the best option. So yeah, let's go for roads, actually. Uh, Tuawai on. Let's go for the sewers. Uh, and Kira's very upset. So... Let's just get it quickly over that. I'm actually going to queue in another one to make sure it's doubly happy in a few turns. Uh, Nosos, let's go for that. Nautaka, let's go for the public baths. Uh, Andragorion, because we're named after Andragoras, of course. Uh, Kamana Cappadocias, you're not even got these. You've been rioting. So once you've built that... Let's go for that. I think they'll be okay after the uh, after those things are repaired. Uh, repaired? Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's go for public baths in Mazaka. It's very tight. In fact, no. Let's go straight for the Temple of Hera there. Tribactra. Yeah, Tribactra again. It's quite a big roads you've got in this region that are very, very useful. So let's go for that there. Elephantine, Syene. Let's go for the market. Why are you so upset? Uh, you're just generally upset. Okay. Uh, where was normal then? Did Where did we just build? Tribactra? No. Somewhere just had normal tax rate. Not Gordion. Elephantine, Syene. Why are you on normal tax rate? Everywhere should be on low. But anyway... Build the... Ooh, no, Gordion's upset. So let's build that. Uh, Tyana is again a large city, which is pretty cool. So let's go with the trading come bonus. And Megale, Apollonius. A lot of trade in this region as well. And again, we can be, re we can be really min-maxing each of these regions if we want to be. Uh, but Mothis... For now, that's just going to take too much time, isn't it, guys? Uh, Balmira, I mean, at the start of the game, it's necessary. But now, we're just making so much money that we might as well just rinse it for all it's worth. Wow. Melatine is unhappy. Um, do we have an Odeon? Yes, we do. But we can't actually do anything about it. Let's go with, for now, let's just go with the big Temple of Taiki. Uh, yeah, it feels like you're building in a lot of places, but then you look at the amount of regions we have, and it's actually none. <laughs> Antiochi Margini, let's go for the public baths. Alexandria Susia, let's go for the execution square. Yes. Thebes, not that Thebes, this Thebes. Let's go for the market. Bostra, which is a large town, let's go for those roads. Uh, Ptolemaeus Harmeo. Let's go for the secret police HQ for now. Uh, Petra. Let's go for that. Oh, we could go for the execution square. Definitely worth it here. More execution squares, boys. More execution squares. <laughs> Sorry this is taking too long. Uh, but let's just try and kind of power through it. Naxos now. Uh, yeah, Gora. Uh, Oxyrinkos. Again, a lot of these places could all benefit from paved roads. So I'm just going to kind of pop in a few paved roads here and there. Really upgrade that trade. 
and also, uh, you know, allow movement a lot quicker, especially around a lot of these islands. Oh, Kos. I probably shouldn't have built that in Kos. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, how about Paphos? Let's have a look. Yeah, Paphos. It's on the island again. So, yeah, the islands. It's not as useful on the island. I mean, it's still useful because there's multiple cities. But, yeah, it's not 100% necessary. God, do you remember back when we were taking those islands, guys? That feels like a decade ago. It feels like so long ago. Um, hardly even remember it. Like, it feels like we have been absolutely on a rampage for so long. Just taking so many settlements and expanding. I can't remember when we were very small at all. It's like crazy um, how far we've come. Uh, let's go. Secret Police HQ probably for C Day. Let's go for that. Uh, minus City of Termesos. Let's go for the Shipwright. I know it costs a lot of money. And we're not even halfway up the list now, boys. <laughs> not even halfway up the list. Uh, yeah, get some more farming in a lot of these regions. They definitely need it. I mean, the Odeon's always a good choice as well. Uh, why did it not tell me about the rioting? I swear it didn't tell me about all this rioting in the in the thing. Um, let's get that instead. So we can stop rioting, my friends. Get the sewers there. Trader there. Wrong one. Let's go Nidos. And let's go for that one. Is there anything we can build in Samaria? Yes, there actually is. <laughs> let's go with the trade income bonus. But yeah, that was a lot of building, wasn't it, guys? Uh, and while we're here, let's smash this out. Zella, I don't think... Oh, wait. No. Let's uh, let's be sensible about this. Why does it always put the elephants to the front of the queue? I hate that. Like, why are they there? They, I've just moved them to the back. Oh, they, they inflicted zero casualties. So, was a good decision to do that. Honestly, I mean, at 0%, it's probably worth exterminating. They're not even happy with this whole army. This Pontic War is just going to take so much time because of this. Um, I'm hoping we've got, you know, garrisons coming. We've got this region down here. Uh, no, that's actually garrisoned quite a bit. Got this region. Let's just pump a few more of them in. I know it's a bit of a trek for them to come up here, but Pontus is, is honestly really reeling right now. And it's quite good for us. In terms of the temples, we can actually keep on going with probably one or two of those temples. So, yeah, while we're here, let's get the shrine to Hera, just for that extra 10% of population order. But let's actually finally press the end turn. And it looked like a few cities had grown there, so we've got to make sure we smash that out. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is why it would have been nice for it to have told us which settlements were rioting. <laughs> which, I, I, I mean, I could have been dumb. But, I, I mean, it's probably it's very likely that I was dumb. But there's also the chance... I mean, it's Cappadocia as well. To add salt into the wound, it's bloody Cappadocia. Um, yeah, civil disorder, right? We do need to pay attention to that, so we'll come back to that later. So, Melatine, yeah... Civil disorder. You're rioting over here. That's very annoying. Can you just stop rioting? I hate it, bro. Just out of the blue. Nowhere. Coming out of nowhere. Come on. All right. Okay. We've got we've got the Odeon for this very purpose. Get it there. Good. Uh, who's died? Alchaos. Oh, in Cotion. Uh, have we got anything around here? I mean, you're only 53, so we might as well get you in there. Uh, and we've got a few city expands, like we said. Arsino Calicia. So in Silesia. Uh, we've got Kaunos over here. Definitely worth expanding. And Heropolis as well. Uh, so let's go through the civil disorder. Let's see what we can do about it. Yeah, we've uh, sorted that one out. Antiochia Oikodomon. What? Well, why have you rioted and now you're fine? You're actually Greek. So why are you rioting? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Pecorus. Oh, dear. That's a very, very tight one. Um, we get an extra bonus for happiness for the walls. That's the only thing I can think of doing right now. 
I mean, yeah, it's probably because a spy's gone in there. Sonko Selkis. We don't have... Yeah, what is this? Squalor and Distance to Capital. Uh, oh, let's repair that. It doesn't actually do anything for the public order. Let's actually queue that in then as well. Hopefully these places don't riot to the Ptolemies. That would be incredibly annoying. Uh, is there anywhere down here that's got like more than one? You've got two, but you're also rioting. <laughs> you're okay. Let's get you down there. Imaginary friend for Clyrosaurus the Handsome. That's... <laughs> Imaginary friend. Where is it? Where's the imaginary... Oh, here it is. My friend says you're bad. I don't like you. Minus one influence. <laughs> That's class. I've never seen that one before. Right, let's get Big Diodotus ready to go. If the ships will move. Come on, boys. This is our, uh, this is our heir apparent. Diodotus, the first of his name. Big Diodotus. Let's go. Right, boys. How far can we go? So let's get to there. And it should show us how far we've got left. Yeah, not far. Yeah, we'll stay in the port for now. <laughs> it's not going to take long to get here, though. Uh, yeah, we've got you guys. Can get in there now as well. And all of you get your armor upgrades that we want to give you. Uh, fortunately, it's not everyone. Because this guy is going to come in there next turn as well. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. Big Armayas, one of our newer generals. Right. But we're not going to do that siege just yet. We'll leave it for now. It's an incredibly upset place over here, isn't it? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of cultural disorder here. Uh, it's a large city as well. Let's go. If we go for the Odeon, we should be able to move out. The Odeons are so powerful. So let's go for that. It's going to take three turns. So we're still going to have to wait three turns to go out. You guys are still recruiting. Where's the big boy? Here he is. Antipatros coming down here. And then, I mean, that's not a problem with Cappadocia rebelling over here. Because we're going to go through Armenia. Then we'll go to that one. And then... We'll just slowly but surely take out Armenia. I don't think it needs to be a fast war against Armenia. They're very uh, based in the hills, based in sort of harder places to get to. So it's really not much of a problem. So you guys there, we've got to, also got to remember to move you boys. Right, let's come down to here. There we are. I mean, it's a bit annoying that the ships can go so much further. But with the guys in, they can't. Not too much further to go now. Probably two or three turns. God, it's so slow. Uh, right. So we moved you. We've got our two armies waiting, ready to invade Greece. So uh, while we're here, let's go and get... At least one of these armies on Crete ready for the invasion. The greatest invasion the world has ever seen. And I'm not too bothered about this fleet getting attacked because surely it's not. Well, I say this, but I know it'll get defeated as soon as we, uh, <laughs> as soon as, uh, as soon as we get going. But look at this army, S sort it properly, very nice indeed. Love it. You guys have moved. You guys have moved. Where's that's the rebel army? You, my friend, do need to move though. All the way around. Get in there. We've also got another boy out here. Oh. Oh, hello, Armenia. Um. Yeah, that's fine. You can take that. I, I'm not really bothered. We're, we're gathering an army to come and respond to you. As long as you don't take Odessa uh, over here, then I'm, I'm not bothered. Uh, we'll take it all back eventually. Right, let's go to the north. Where we've got that, and we've got... Yeah, they are they are kind of trying to follow us. Any more mercenary? Oh, we do have another mercenary. Let's get rid of... Like, you. There's only two of you. 
Oh, you can't join anyone else, can you? No. Right, let's get these boys in there then. And let's go. Oh, wait, we didn't get the mercenary. God damn it! Now I'm, now I'm happy to take this fight. Now we've got some horse archers to repel theirs. I'm 100% happy to take this fight. Right, this fight, let's auto-resolve. I don't think we'll lose many men. 276. Uh, it's some, but it's not too many, is it? This one doesn't have roads either. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> How can you have this one without roads as well? Well, I think we go to Darasper. So we have left the settlement. Uh, let's leave it for now. What can we recruit in Daraspa? Oh, we can re recruit a lot. Oh, glory. Yes, we've got the reformed swordsmen up here as well. Oh, baby. That's what we want to see. They are fantastic. Uh, what have they got in here? They've got an army barracks. Mines again. I can't believe. I genuinely can't believe that they haven't built roads here. Let's go for roads. <laughs> Uh, right. Let's retrain everyone we can. And let's get everyone in here that can get retrained. So, the non-mercenary cav. They should all be able to fit in. And let's get them retrained as well. And this will be a pretty nice army, honestly, to, to finish them off. And then hopefully push into India. Is there anything else we want in here? I mean... The stables and stuff would be good, especially going into India, but we're going with the paved roads for now, so that's fine. Uh, so that's happening, that's happening. Right, I think we moved everyone. I know it's taking a lot now, guys, but we've got so many armies and so many things to do that it's really hard to keep track of everything. <laughs> um, and, you know, especially trying to get battles in there as well, if we can do them. But we do tend to have this, don't we? We tend to have one, you know, really... Uh, intense episode where we have a lot of battles and then one where we're a bit slower. So let's go for the, the that there. Uh, Caedonia, we can get the market. Uh, Cowris, let's get those public baths, keep them happy. Cortina over here as well. Um, let's go for that second temple of Hera because for some reason they're so upset again. Culture penalty? You're all Greek, my friends. I know we've got some of these things in here that are not your culture. Especially that one. But we're Greek as well. I know it's Western Greek or whatever. Uh, we're Eastern Hellenic. They're probably just as normal Greeks. But yeah, it's a bit annoying. <laughs> Public baths. Ariathan. Let's go for the trader. Pessinus. Let's go for the... Yeah... No, Agora probably is the best option. Lots of these places rioting, like we've said. I think we've managed to sort most of them out, though, now. Apart from, like, Pecorus. This one is fine. Chompo Selkis. I mean, we're trying to sort it out. It's quite difficult. Uh, you get there... Dorylion also is very upset. Is that because of this? Well, let's go. Yeah, you're on low. Have you got... Oh, no, you don't. Do have a general as well. So it'd be good if he got an extra bit of influence. That would sort of that right out. Uh, Gordion. Let's go for the, those... I know, Gordion is insanely upset now. Like, insanely upset. Uh, we do have... Yeah. That's going to sort it out. Good. There we are. <laughs> if in doubt, build the Odians, guys. So let's build the uh, paved roads there. Best for moving our troops along this area. Tyana, let's go for the... Uh, I'm thinking the Great Agora. That's very good. I know it's a, a big investment, but it's a good city. Let's go for Amethus. Ideally, we want ports here, but let's go for the aqueduct for that growth so we can get the last level port. Unless we've already built it. Um, Alexandria, I mean, we don't need that. We don't need population growth. But there's not much we can build here. Let's go for trying to type for that extra population growth. It's good to see all those places building. Samaria, let's go for the market. Myos Hormos. 
Let's go for that paved roads as well, because they're trading quite a bit over there. Ptolemaeus for Nike. Let's go for that. My Lysa. If we can get a port, that'd be good. No, we can't. So let's go for that population growth as well. Isora. Let's go the market. Miletos. One of the great cities of antiquity. Let's go for Tyke. Uh, Sidon. Let's go for the paved roads in Sidon as well. Kios. Let's definitely go for the trader there. Um, Chalcodon. Go for the market. Yeah, so we're still we're kind of mixing it between economic and population growth. And ideally, we can get both with building some farms in a lot of these places as well. Passa all the way over there. Let's go for those paved roads. That'll just allow it to trade a little bit more. Taioki. Let's go for the... I mean, I want to kind of go for the Great Agora. Let, yeah, let's go for it. Uh, Syrinx Tambrax. Let's go for the paved roads over here as well. Like I say, building one of the same things. Easy to just build it everywhere, but uh, yeah. So it does seem like these are taking a bit longer than usual today. I don't know whether I'm just being slower. I'm trying to explain what I'm doing. Um, but if you guys want me to skip these parts, and I can do, but some of you really like it. Some of you don't like it at all. Uh, but it's kind of the mix between everyone. Uh, Kiropolis, Caduceo, let's build the Odeon there just in case. We don't want that rioting. We've seen so many things riot, haven't we? <laughs> right, let's press the end turn. Hopefully there's not too many people that need to move. Just spies, really. Just spies. I despise the spies. Very good. But yes. Um, so we're making 140k a turn now. I, I mean... Ah, uh, hello, uh, Armenia. Funny seeing you here, isn't it? Look at all that trade going into that city as well. <sighs> ah, yes. Finally. Welcome back, Tria. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, and they went for a night battle, so the other army can't even come and help them. Now, I think this is going to be quite bloody. They've got the standard battery and hoplites here. They've got one, two Chalka Speeders. What have we got? Mainly Theroporoi. But we do have a major, major cav advantage here. Major cav advantage. Like, I know they've got a lot more troops, but we have the advantage. And we are defending, guys, so we can do what we want. We can rest on the hill and wait for them to come. So, I will see you there, guys. Oh, night battle in the rain. Fantastic. Yes! Sorry if that just broke your ears. Um, and it's quite an open map, which is good for us with our cav. Cavalry! Yes, the cavalry! Very good. Um, let's get rid of that. And you boys. I mean, you can just go behind. You're not gonna do much in the battle, are you? Uh, right, let's sort... Our... Oh, we've got these boys as well. They're actually quite a good archer unit. Uh, slingers. <laughs> yeah, you're slingers, aren't you? Not archers. I was gonna say, take your fire arrows, but you're actually slingers. Right, I think, honestly, these cav can just kind of go behind and just fire. And then when we're chasing down the enemy, we'll use them. Uh, because there's no point using them for anything else, really, for now. Because I'm going to have to micro these horse archers anyway. And then we've got these boys. The Mercenary De Heian Noble Cavalry. Yes! The boys! Yes, yes, yes. So you boys go there. You boys here. And I think we're ready for whatever they throw at us. Oh, look how many there are. 82 of them as well. Oh my... Yes. Yes! Come on. In the rain, ready to pound some Bactrian boys into destruction. Um, that sounded very, very excited then. Um, <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Uh, Bactrian hoplites. I'm sure Mosker will timestamp that down below anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is the general doing? What a dumbo. Let's go, boys. Now, they might try and send some infantry to come and deal with us. 
But we're horse archers. We don't give a fuck. Let's go. I mean, they've got a lot of peltas. They love... That's actually quite a, uh, you know, historically accurate army, really. Uh, they just need a bit more Zistaphoroi. Uh, but they do have... Oh, yeah, they've got two generals. And we do have Antiochus over here. And Carpus, who is hell-bent on revenge. He is Adimanthos' son, of course. And uh, very, very... Uh, wants his revenge on the foolish Bactrians for all they've done to his family. Uh, killing his father in that way. Let's get you off that. And, uh, yeah, let's get behind if we can. Speed it up. Now we can go after the, uh, the generals. I mean, we've got, like, it's, it's noble cavalry and soggy and heavy horse archers as well. So it's not even, like, if their cavalry charges us, we're gonna be at a big disadvantage. Let's just do a flyby on these boys. Here come the Peltasts. And yeah, our boys are firing now. Good. Cool, yeah. Keep firing at the generals. That's who we want to really get rid of. And we've got a long way to run. If they want to chase us, they can do. They might catch us, but... Yeah, because our guys are heavy. Hefty, boys. Let's go. Uh, we've waited a while for, for a... For a battle in this episode, haven't we? Oh, come on, guys. Don't be don't be foolish. But uh, it definitely has been worth it. Right, let's go. Let's get over there now. Keep going. I mean, he's so far away from his support that we could go for the charge. Demetrios. He's obsessed with the horse archers. He's an obsessive man. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we can destroy this army in its entirety. I would have rather had a draw-out battle on the on the settlement. Because we're just going to have to auto-resolve the settlement now as well. But, well, I mean, yeah, that's a, that's an invitation, isn't it? Um, charge, my men. Charge. He flees. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Please. Please kill him. Like, what are you doing? You're so slow. You should be fast. Wait, what's this cab doing? Wait, where are you? Oh, yeah, we, we've ruined them. Right, let's go. Straight into the back of these boys, then. They've got a lot of peltas. We do have to be wary of that. They're finally we've killed one of their generals. Straight into the back of those hoplites as well. Right, let's keep going. I mean, worst case scenario, we're going to have to fight him. Let's do that. Um, and let's get rid of these boys if we can. Get rid of them. Uh, you should fight someone. Probably a good idea. We've killed this gem. Well, we've got rid of this general for now anyway. He is charging away. He is charging away. So let's go. Kill him. And yeah. We are... Yeah, we're, we're, we're shredding them. We're shredding them. So let's come back. Cavalry. Let's come here. I don't want to deal... I don't want to charge those Chalka Speeders just yet. You guys can do that instead. Let's go. Oh, we've killed them. I don't really want to fight all those boys. Like, right now. So let's come back all the way. Let's make them tired. I mean, we can go through a few of these guys. Uh, there we are. How are you guys wavering? Let's go. See if you can charge into them a little bit as well. Nice. No, only shaken now. Only shaken. Not stirred. Uh, yeah. Get the back of the hoplites. Come on, boys. Let's go. <laughs> Instantly broken. Nice. That was what we like to see. Let's keep going. Taking out these slicing and dicing. The Bactrians. Let's go, my friends. How many have we killed? I mean, pretty much all of them, I'm assuming. So, let's get here. I think we can start speeding it up now. They should be ready to die, honestly. Uh, let's go for this one. Bang. Right in the back there. Speed it up. Nice. Let's kill him. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. Right, let's go. Nice. 
I mean, this is just ridiculous. These poor Bactrians. Don't they know if they want to beat us, they have to either bring Ambacti or... <laughs> or lots of cavalry. I do love playing with the cavalry. Um... Well, those guys, yeah, the fire at them. Uh, yes, let's go. So we've got these boys. What are they? Just hoplites? Ugh, they're going to be trash. Let's get you guys there. Let's get you guys here. You guys here as well. You guys can go and just go and fire at them. Get the cav here. And let's speed it up. I don't think we need, really need to worry too much anymore. Oh, they, they charged in. Uh, let's get the charge off. Let's go for them. We have managed to use pretty much... Oh my god, that charge was devastating. They're withdrawing. Let's go then. Well, let's not get keep everyone. Let's go with you two. You can go there. You three. We're just going to have to use you to scare these Chalka Speeders. And the Chalka Speeders do tend to last a long time. But there we are, fighting to the death now. There we are, kill them all. Good. Ah, oh, finally we've reached them. Come on, let's go. That's not getting into them. That's better. Oof, took a bit of a battering there, honestly. My brand new mercenary unit. Let's go, kill them all then. Take your revenge, men. Take your revenge. And uh, I think that's got to be it, right? Ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho! Spicy! Let's go! Very nice. Very nice. The Sogdians, 200... De hey, a noble cavalry, 446 kills! Yes! Come on, the boys! Very nice, indeed. Yes. I love horse archers, guys, if you can't tell. My two favorite things are horse archers and heavy infantry, so uh, yeah. But anyway, I will see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. And of course, the settlement still is there, but that army is, is absolutely crushed. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. Yeah, no, not a 47-year-old. I'm sorry. I've already taken a 45-year-old by mistake. Uh, so, yeah, let's not do that. Enemy army routes and Tyakos. Great name as well, my friend. Um, Gortina again. Should be alright next turn. So, let's try and uh, be sensible. This all should, should be alright next turn. You don't have an Odeon, do you, my friend? No. Dorylion. Oh, God. Oh. Dorylion is a problem. We're going to have to sort this out. Um. Yeah, this whole region is a problem, honestly. You lost 71. For now, though, you've got four influence. You should be able to sort that out for a few turns. Well, this absolute... Ugh. Yeah, he's really sorted that out. <laughs> we are the most advanced faction, uh, which is good. Lots of uh, lots of things going for Percy has got a doctor, which is actually fantastic. Seleucia, we got the Ludus Magna now, so they should be getting a lot of good good traits. Uh, there's nothing really else that needs building. Let's go for the theatre then in Seleucia. Uh, but yeah, Antioch actually got the next shrine upwards, so we should be able to retrain a few boys. Oh, not quite. Um. Okay, so while we're here then, let's build the Temple of Hera. So you're nearly ready to go. You're going... Where were you going? You were going to build some watchtowers, weren't you? I mean, we can see that Armenian army there. That's the border. Let's get one right on the edge. And actually see what's going on over here. I know a lot of you don't like the uh, fog of war. But, uh, yeah. The watchtowers are just so expensive. So, I don't like to build too many of them. A thousand each. 
but yeah, while you're up here then, you're only 17. You should be able to have a family. So let's get you. You built a couple of watchtowers. That's fine. In fact, what about this little area? That'd be quite nice to get a few men. Get a few men. Actually, no. Let's go like right into the center here because some of these cities, like Mazaka, is so rich. Let's get a man in there to to look after Mazaka. Sounds like a good idea. You boys, again, all the way to Antioch. You can walk a long way in a turn, can't you? And we still got four more turns before they will be able to leave. And, yeah, very close to becoming a huge city as well, which is fantastic. Now we go down <laughs> to our trip down the coast. <laughs> Every time. Oh, we can only get to there as well. God damn it. <laughs> I would rather be safe though, guys. Imagine if we just went in the ships. And then just died when we got to, like, here or something. I'd be absolutely fuming. Uh, so, yeah. We, that would be a very salty episode if that happened. So, yeah. Let's not do that. Let's get you boys in there ready to go. And we'll have them synchronized leaving very soon. Where's Big Diodotus? How far can you go? All the way to there. Let's get you in there then. And then we're very soon going to be able to take these armies. All silver, apart from a couple of boys. Actually, everyone can retrain now. So I wonder whether it will allow them all... Yeah, gold weapons for a lot of these boys now. So let's go with that one as well. Uh, and it's going to be a couple more turns before you can get there. So... Yeah, there's no point waiting for that extra singular upgrade. So let's upgrade everyone we can. And then what we'll do is we will swap them over to this army next turn. And get these boys all upgraded uh, and retrained. Uh, in fact, let's stop you doing your movement in there. Because that's just going to break the end turn. Break up the end turn, should I say. Oh, the Greek city-states look like they want to come and challenge it a little bit. Let's get rid of you. Get out the road, my friend. Get out the road. And, uh, yeah, we'll come on to the there. We'll do that battle next episode. Uh, you are in, in an insanely unhappy place. Insanely unhappy, I tell you. Uh, these boys, once those two are done, we'll send those garrison boyos up there. I mean, a few of these places are looking a bit happier, but you never know. Like, it can just happen like that, that they become extremely upset very quickly. But look at the trade. That's fantastic. Trade all across the empire. Oh, dearie me. I love to see it. Right. Well. Is everyone retrained in here? Most of you. Let's get you in. And get you a bit of training as well. You meanest, my friend. Let's get that. Is there anything we want? I mean, Thorakitai and Hypastis and Agira Speedes. Are all fantastic. Right, let's get a couple of these Agira Speed as Reform Swordsmen. They are a very good unit. Very nice to have on hand, just in case. Now, do we auto-resolve this? I think we do. It's got nothing in there. 84 they kill. That's very easy to accept. And, unfortunately, this place isn't Greek quite yet. But it is converting to Greek. Which is good. And, uh, yeah, it's just got standard Palisade. Standard Barbarian Palisade. I mean, Subsistence Herds. Let's just get rid of that. That 3% tax is going to do nothing for us long term. Uh, Execution Square is good. Large Temple of Atlas, which is their law temple. So can we get double law temples in here? That is the question. We actually can. <laughs> uh, let's go for the roads and then the Shrine to Hera. Let's get that on low tax rate. Uh, we want to leave someone behind. Probably those Mercenary Scythian Archers. Uh, I don't believe there's a way through here from where the Sarka are. I think they go round this way. That's one of their cities. Well, let's just imagine you were moving. You can actually go through this way. And I'm sure there are settlements. So I'll tell you what we'll do. is We'll recruit a couple of spies. Just have a look up there and see what's going on. Um, see, there is a road trading here. But it doesn't actually connect to the city. So the trade's going to be reduced by so much. Uh, you can keep 
You could actually siege down. Oh, they've... Yeah, their horse archer army is gone somewhere. I don't know where, but we might as well risk this while we can. Have they gone to try and take that? And it doesn't look like it. So I wonder where they are then. Probably just hiding somewhere because that's getting so screwed. <laughs> but Bactria has fallen rather quickly, hasn't it? When we've eventually... When we weren't fighting a two-front war, it has eventually fallen so quickly. Uh, and we moved all of you boys, haven't we? We're not going to do those battles. Good. Well, let's, uh, let's get our building done. Our final bit of building done, guys. Uh, and yeah, let's go from the back again. Bactria, Basilion. Let's go with the Shrine to Hera. Sasamas. Yeah, let's go. Let's give some love to all these settlements that don't get it normally. Uh, so, yeah, Gangra. Yeah, you can go for the Shipwright in Gangra. Yeah, communal farming over here. Bactria, Zariaspa. A very good, very, very good city. Let's go for the paved roads there. That's going to be invaluable going forward. Tuion as well is, is a very big region with a lot of roads. So I think paved roads there will definitely be the option. Um, Maracanda, I mean, paved roads. What can, I, what can I say? Big region on the road up to our northern front. What else do we want? Uh, Mazaka's a bit upset right now. So I think... Let's do something that makes them happy. I mean, public baths. Do they have the Odeon? They do have the Odeon. So if that rebels, we've got that in our back pocket. Uh, Halicarnassus, let's go for the market. We've got Egyptian culture in one of those places. That's quite cool. Uh, let's go for the crop rotation in there. And then Alexandria. Yeah, we didn't really know what we were going to do here. So let's go for this trying to hero as well. And then Iopi. Uh, let's go for that crop rotation. Uh, Philadelphia. Yeah, we're getting up to ones that we haven't touched for a while, which is good. Gadara. Go for that. Militos. Yeah, about halfway along now. Good. Bizpautis. Let's go for the Agora. Yeah, actually, at Bizpautis. Yeah, Bizpautis. Let's just go for the O. Oh, no, we've got an Odeon. That's good. Uh, Secret Police HQ is probably going to bring us more money than anything else there. Harmosia over here. Let's go for those roads. I think that's definitely going to help out long term. Antiochia, Persis. Do you trade? You actually do trade. Don't think you can trade there, though. I think that's too far away. So probably not worth upgrading the, the port here. So let's go for the farms instead. Mytilene, definitely worth upgrading the port for you. You're going to be an absolute filthy moneymaker very soon. So, uh, Artakana, let's go for the crop rotation. Uh, Akrabai, let's go for something cheap. Let's go for Odeon. Gauzana over here, let's also go for the Odeon just in case. Uh, Bertha, uh, Bertha, let's go for the Aqueduct, try and get you up to huge city soon. Same thing with Is, we need public, public baths if we want to make you into a huge city. Nippur is very close to becoming a huge city. So let's go for the Odeon there, just in case as well. Asur. Uh, yeah, let's just build the shrine to Taiki there. Seleucia had Diphon. Uh, you are trading again, but it's, again, not, not many places will be able to trade with you. So let's go for the Scriptorian. Arhapa. Let's go for the secret police. No, you're too close to the capital to warrant that. Let's build the other temple. That's fine. Apamea Zugma. Let's go for the public baths. Artemita. Um, yeah, again, the, the execution square is not going to be very useful. Uh, I mean, the Great Agora. Yeah, I'd love to build it, but it's so expensive. Uh, Nikephorion. Let's go for the Shrine to Hephaestus. Kalonai. Let's go for that aqueduct if possible. Or... We could go for the Shrine to Hephaestus. <laughs> Save a bit of cash. And yeah, Baroya. Uh, Baroya, Baroya, Baroya. Let's go for that extra temple to Hera. Helio, Polis, Syria. Let's go for the Odeon there. Again, a lot of these places that aren't Greek culture can just explode with cultural unrest every now and then. Let's go for the paved roads. 
Uh, Biblos, Ladokia, Paralos. Let's go for the crop rotation. Um, and then Seleucia, Piera. Let's go for those public baths. Get that population growth going because it's at zero. Same thing over here. I think the Odeon for that uh, public order just in case. So we've gone through the execution squares. So now we're trying to make everyone happy after we've really upset everyone. <laughs> Trials, let's go for the public baths. Public baths in here as well. Katayon, I think. Yeah, this area here, Katayon, that was the one that we had a real bad problem with at some point. So let's go for the Odeon there. Same thing with Kadoi. I think it's definitely worth it in the long run. Just in case you get those rebellions, you can just... Switch it on. It, it's so much easier to deal with than having to move troops, all that sort of thing. Daskilion. Let's go for the public baths. Seleucia. Kalikadnos. Same thing. Odeon. Uh, Antiochia. Sardos. Saros, should I say? Uh, secret police HQ is probably a good option. And then Katakaukamene. Let's definitely get the uh, the Odeon because... It... Nope. Let's get the temple. And then we've got Smyrna. Let's go for the public baths. Ladokia Lycos. Let's go for the crop rotation. And then Thyatera. Let's go for the public baths. We've got one more city we can do. Uh, and definitely the Shrine to Hero at Raithu. I don't know why we've not built that already. Uh, and then probably Shrine to Taiki at Alexandria Troas. Adramition. Let's leave that for now. Kaizikos. Let's go for those river ports. But how many... Oh, oh well. <laughs> Let's say that's probably like... Let's say that's probably about 10. 10. So we're only missing about 25 settlements, guys. From building now. And we've got 189. Woohoo! That is really good. That is incredibly good. I'm so happy with that. Uh, yeah, that is that is fantastic. 25 settlements. That's all we've got to build in. I know we did scam a few uh, single-turn um, temples in there. But apart from that, we are in a very good place. That is fantastic. Monetarily, we are in a fantastic place. Oh, this is why it looks weird, because it's got the circular palisade around the Greek town. <laughs> Uh, but it's, it kind of represents the town spilling out, right? <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. So, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. I know it's been a slower-paced one, but some of you prefer that. Some of you prefer the faster battles all episodes. Some of you prefer those slower-paced ones. So, let me know in the comments which one you prefer. But thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you all again on the next video.